Yo guys, what is going on? It's Luki here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be going through my top 10 Cold War multiplayer class setups. Now, once again, these are my top 10 class setups, so you might have some different class setups that you prefer. If you do, let me know down below. So I'm going to get straight into this. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. If you want to see more content like this, without further ado, let's get into it. So the first one, as you guys can see, we have the XM4. We have the Socom Eliminator for the muzzle, the takedown barrel, the underbarrel is the field agent grip, we have the fast uh, 50 round mag, and then we have the Microflex LED because the iron sights on this weapon are really ugly. Now if you guys want a little bit more mobility, you can go ahead and take off the 50 round mags, and you can stick on a 40 round mag instead, or if you guys want to, you could also put a stock on instead of the muzzle, for example. That's what I do sometimes if I'm playing on a smaller map, etc, um, etc. Et so this right here is my class. When I use this class, though, I do pre-aim a lot because the mobility isn't great. So this class is for kind of more of a slow kind of play style. And for those long, medium kind of range gunfights. And then I have a pistol that I swap to for the close combat gunfights. So next up we have the MP5. For the MP5 we have the Socom Eliminator, we have the Task Force Barrel, the Field Agent Grip, the 40 Fast Mags and then we have the Raider Stock. The Raider Stock increases the speed by a lot and then we have the 40 Fast Mag just so we can reload faster and we have plenty of ammo. The Field Agent Grip and the Socom Eliminator combined pretty much get rid of any recoil on this weapon as well. Next up we have the Krig 6. Now for the Krig 6 we have the Agency Suppressor. I'm not sure what it is but with the Krig 6 I just love to use the Suppressor on this weapon. It just feels really nice. We have the range of barrel for the increased damage range and the effective damage range and all that kind of stuff which is really important. Increased bullet velocity, all of that good stuff. And then we have the Field Agent Grip, the Fast 50 Mags. And then we have the Microflex LED. Once again the iron sights on this weapon are absolutely gross so you're gonna definitely need to have a microflex led or some sort of scope on this once again if you do want to go ahead and increase the mobility you can take off the muzzle and you can stick on like a different stock that's going to increase the mobility up and make it a little bit faster it's a little bit um you know it's everyone's different opinion i like to use assault rifles as more of a slower kind of play style that's what they're made for so with the Assault Rifles, I don't really care too much about speed, um, but if I do care about speed, I'm going to be using an SMG instead. So next up, this is actually my number one all-time favourite weapon. We have the AK-74U, we have the KGB Eliminator, which uh, pretty much deletes any recoil, along with the Spetnitz Grip, it decreases the recoil. We have the Rifled Barrel, because that's one of the uh, barrels that doesn't really affect like any speed or anything like that. We have the 50 fast mag. If you do want a little bit of more extra speed. Once again you can put on a smaller mag. That doesn't decrease the mobility as much. And then we have the KG skeletal stock. Which basically makes you really really fast with this class. Next up we have the LC10 as you guys can see. LC10 is one of my favourite class setups and weapons right now. It is a pretty new weapon. And this class right here actually has no recoil. I'm not even joking. The recoil on this weapon, it's so, so minimum, minimal. Like, you guys aren't going to see any recoil. So we have the Socom Eliminator rifle, the Raider stock. We have the Field Agent Grip and a Salvo 52 round mag. This thing literally has zero recoil. You can practice it if you guys want to. Go into a custom game, shoot a wall, and you guys will see this thing does not move. It just doesn't move. This class setup right here is honestly such a good and easy class setup to use. Next up, we have the Pellington, which is my personal favorite quick scoping class. Some people don't like the Pellington because it's a little bit weaker than the tundra so they like to use the tundra just because it has that little bit of extra damage but in my opinion i reckon that the pellington is actually better it's a little bit weaker but as long as you hit the upper chest 
you're not really going to be getting that many hit markers. So we have the stabilizer, we have the tiger team brow to shoot faster, we have the raider stock for the increased ADS speed, etc, etc, fast loader, and then we have the serpent wrap once again for increased ADS. So the mobility on this, as you guys can see in the mobility bar in the bottom right, it's very, very high. The firepower is very high too. This is a very good class of sniping. For the Tundra, if you want to use the Tundra, the attachments are literally exactly the same, by the way. Uh, all the snipers have the same attachments on it. So if you want to use the Tundra, use the Tundra with these exact same class set up. Next up, we have one of the newer weapons. We have the Farah 83. Not many people are using this weapon, which is quite surprising, but it actually is a very, very good weapon. It doesn't really have too much recoil. In Warzone, it has a lot of recoil, but in multiplayer, it doesn't. We have the takedown barrel, the microflex LED, the Gru elastic wrap, the 50 round fast mag, and then we have the Spetness speed grip instead of the normal grip that we would use. Next up in the video, we have the AK-47. This has increased damage. Like, the damage on this thing is insane. So, we have the 50 fast mag, the spetness grip, takedown barrel, the skeletal stock for the increased mobility because this weapon is pretty slow. And then we have the Gru Elastic Wrap. This is literally a zero recoil class setup as well, by the way. Um, it doesn't have any recoil. It's super accurate. You don't need a scope for this because it has really clean iron sights as well. Next up, we have the Org, which is literally a one burst machine. This thing can melt your enemies so, so easily. We have the Strike Team Barrel for the increased uh, fire rate. We have the Field Agent Foregrip for the accuracy. Quick dot LED because the normal scopes are pretty ugly. I don't really like them. You can use whatever scope you guys want to. You can use the two times, the three times, or any other that you may like. We have the Raider Pad for the increased mobility. And then we have the 54 Fast Mag. This thing, literally, like I said, it can one burst your enemies really, really easily. Next up, a weapon that, in my opinion, I think this weapon goes under the radar quite a lot. Not many people use this weapon and honestly it is so, so slept on. So we have the Gru Suppressor, we have the Rifled Barrel, Spetness Grip, the 85 round magazine which is just insane. It's like a mini LMG and then we have the Skeletal Stock for the increased mobility. Like I said, this thing is slept on the Bullfrog. It is so, so slept on. Really nice iron sights as well. Great mobility. A lot of ammo so you guys can literally just shred through the enemy. You can kill... You can probably kill the team twice without even having to reload. This thing is nuts. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. But that is it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.